Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler here. And in today's video, we're gonna be working with iterating over loops inside of Svelte. So how do we take a list of elements and iterate over each element such that we can display the contents inside that element as a unique component? So let's get started with that. Um, to demonstrate this, we're gonna be using this dogs API, which I'll leave down below in the comment section, but basically it just returns a list of URLs um, that we can then put in image tags and such. So currently it can hold anywhere between one or we can go all the way up to 50 and get 50 URLs. So that is basically that. Inside of the actual Svelte app, we have a slider which is bounds to this H1 tag. So this is how many we're gonna actually grab. And let me actually show you that because I haven't showed you binding of sliders. But basically, it's just like binding any text input. You bind the value to the amounts. When this changes, this will change. And so we have an on-click handler that just gets the dogs. And here's that URL we were using before. And this is how we can determine how many dogs, images, we want to pull down. So now that we have this out of the way, let's actually get the list of dogs and set it up here. So we just have an empty array of dogs, basically. So how do we actually get that? Well we can do const datas is equal to await fetch URL, right? So we're gonna fetch it and then we're gonna say const content is equal to await datas uh, dot JSON because we're gonna convert it to JSON. And then we can say dogs is equal to content dot message because we know that the message is going to be in here. For example, I can console.log this to console.log dogs. And what you'll see is we should get dogs, five uh, dogs when we click this. So we click it and here we have zero through four, um, a list of dogs. So how do we actually now conditionally render this? So one thing we can do is we can say um, something like this. We can do an if block. So we can do if uh, dogs dot length is equal to zero, right? We can show an H1 that says no dogs found. And then we can do, you know, something like this to conditionally, you know, show an else. So if there's no dogs, right? How do we actually show that? So we can show no dogs found in here, right? There's no dogs, but now how do we actually show them? So this is where I'm gonna introduce a new type of element called a each block. So we can come in here and just like doing an if block, we can also do an each block. And you can see it auto completes it. So we have each as and then element. So it's each dogs as a dog. And what you'll see in here is now we get each and every element in that dog's array. So in this case, it's a URL. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an image and I'm gonna put in the source as a dog. And the alt tag, I'm just gonna say um, fun dog, fun dog image. Now, this uh, here is already announced. Oh, I'm just gonna get rid of that. Oh, it's because of the image, fun dog. There we go. So now what will happen is when we click this button, what you'll see is we get a whole bunch of dogs, right? So we get a nice list of dogs and they're all very different in sizes and all that. But if we say did 50 now, you can see this is a really giant list of dogs. And if we did one, we get just one dog. So it's pretty neat. We can handle um, this just like that. We can also set the width as you would expect to say 300 of max. And now when we do this, we get uh, each dog is 300 pixels. Yeah, so this is how you can handle um, iteration over elements inside of Svelte. So as a recap, what we did is we bound an amount button um, and basically called a URL by that we waited for the values. And then the important part is we conditionally rendered a no dogs found text. 
Um, while there's no dogs, we could also do something like conditionally wait while we're waiting for that fetch request using a um, asynchronous block. But we did that, and then once we found a dog, we rendered them. And yeah, so if you found this video useful, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.